So I went on the Apple website the other day in order to order and customize my M4 Pro Mac Mini that I'm going to be getting here to replace my M1 Max MacBook Pro. However, going through the customization stages, I selected 48 gigabytes of RAM, but then when I got to the storage, I noticed that Apple won $1,200 for four terabytes of storage. So I sat there thinking, and then I clicked on 512 gigabytes, the baseline storage, kept that 1200 in my pocket because I've got a better solution than ordering on their website. And I'm gonna show you in this video. However, if it's your first time here, my name is Almir, AKA Mr. Tech. On this channel, I make tech simple. Consider hitting that subscribe button below to be subscribed and see all the new content coming out. Like the video if you do end up liking it, share it with your friends and family who might be interested in this type of content. Let's go check out how you can increase the storage and save you money without losing performance. So for the longest time when people would purchase from the Apple website, whether it be buying a MacBook, Mac Mini, iMac, they had to be very careful with their selection of the internal drives because A, these internal drives were way, way faster than anything you'd get on an external enclosure drive like this because Thunderbolt 4 was capped at 40 gigabit speed. So you'd generally get half the speed you would of that internal drive. And B, these internal drives were non-upgradable and non-replaceable. So basically whatever you order at the customization stage, you're stuck with until you upgrade to a new product. Now with the release of M4, well M4 Pro and M4 Max, you can actually have Thunderbolt 5 speeds, which Thunderbolt 5 is way, way faster than Thunderbolt 4. 40 gigabit limitation on Thunderbolt 4, and now we've got 80 to 100 gigabits limitations on Thunderbolt 5, which in theory means we should be able to get even faster speeds with this than you can get on your actual Apple machine. So let me show you why this might be one of your favorite accessories to get. So when you actually open up the NVMe enclosure for the Acasis, what you're gonna get is a couple of things. You are gonna get a guide which I've thrown somewhere because you don't really need that. The more important things are you will get these thermal pads, which will get two in there, and then you're gonna peel one off, put it on your NVMe drive once it's installed into the enclosure, and it's gonna help with thermals because the NVMe drives, they do get hot once they're being used, especially for longer periods of times. And you do get like a silicon pin, which goes into one of these sections to support the NVMe drive and keep it in place. And of course, we get a Thunderbolt 5 cable, which is self-explanatory. If you wanna get the best speeds possible, make sure you're using a Thunderbolt 5 cable and plugging it into a Thunderbolt 5 port. If you do plug it into a Thunderbolt 4 port, I believe it does just go down to Thunderbolt 4 speeds. So the reason why I believe the Acasis NVMe enclosure is so much better than, for example, the Tremblay one is a couple points. First of all, the build quality of the Acasis one, it just looks so much nicer, it's so much more aesthetic. And I personally have been using Acasis drives for a long time. This one I used, I think, for two and a half years now, and it still works perfectly fine. So I can definitely say they have great build quality and they do last a long time. Second of all, it has a tool free assembly, so I don't need to search for them small screwdrivers. Be worried that I'm gonna lose the small screws when you unscrew it. And it's super simple, you just pick off the top and you can see it's held in by these little pin sections. And then you've got your NVMe section there. And thirdly, it supports multiple different NVMe's, whereas the Trimbly one, I believe it just supports the standard 2280 NVMe, which is this size one. However, the Acasis one, it supports the 2230, the 2242, the 2260, and the 2280. So depending on which drive you get, maybe one's on a better deal than another one, you can put them all in and have them working perfectly fine. Just for this video, for example, I've got a 2230 here. It's a one terabyte drive. And I'm gonna place this into the actual NVMe enclosure. Make sure it slots in there. And all you do is use the actual pin. And now it's in place, it's been held in there and it's not going anywhere. And then all we do is slide, sorry for that noise, slide that, press it in place and it clicks in and it's in there. You've got an LED indicator on this side and then your port to actually plug it in and then we've got a nice fan in there for heat dissipation as well. Like I said, great build quality. Price doesn't differ that much from the Tremblit one. Tremblay one is a little bit more cheaper. However, currently Acasis have a discount code which doesn't only bring a difference around, I think it's around $30 difference. So for that $30 difference, I'll definitely go for the Acasis one just for them benefits I just mentioned. And then what I would pair it with is 
Of course, the possibility of NVMEs is endless, depending on what size you want, what speed you want. What I found online is an Orico NVMe, which has speeds up to 7,000 megabytes per second read, I think, and 6,500 write. And it's only $130 so for two terabytes, and then for four terabytes, $200. $40. So when you compare that with the price of the Acasius currently with discount for a four terabyte NVMe that's super fast and the Acasius hub, you're looking at around $520 with the discount. If you go for the two terabyte drive and the Acasius hub, it's around 367 with discount. Now I'm going to pop in the description box below a bunch of different NVMEs that will be good for this. And then you can end links of course to the Acasius with the discount code. And if you want to decide to get it, you can grab it down below. I'm not sure how long the discount code is valid and it does knock off like $45, $50 from the Acasis. So bear that in mind, if you wait too long, the discount code might not be valid and then it will be the original $280 price tag. But let me show you some speed tests with the actual Acasis drive plugged into the Mac Mini. So I'm going to show you some results of the speed test that I did using the Amorphous Dismark. Now on some of the sections, it did beat the internal drive on some of the sections it did not, but that wasn't the main focus on this test. It was just to show you the capabilities of this random NVMe I had. When I get the Orico drive that's two terabytes or four terabytes with the higher speed capabilities, it should take more advantage of that Thunderbolt 5 enclosure and beat the internal drive in basically every test possible. Now, a couple benefits of having an enclosure like this. If your Mac mini ever needs to go in for warranty or get exchanged, you don't have to worry about the storage on there because you can put everything onto your enclosure. I'm going to be running a lot of my apps and a lot of the largest files on my Mac Mini are going to go over to this enclosure. I'm going to keep it plugged in constantly. And if I ever need to sell the Mac Mini or upgrade to something else, I know I've got that enclosure for a long period of time because Thunderbolt 5 is very new. It's not going anywhere. So you don't have to worry about a new technology coming out anytime soon. Doing this method as opposed to upgrading on the Apple website will save you a ton of money. And also you're not going to lose out on performance like I just showed you. Now I'm going to leave links to everything in the description box below if you do want to grab it. Like I said, some of the discount codes are only valid for a certain amount of time. So if they don't work when you try them, that just means that they're not valid anymore. But I hope you liked the video. Do hit that subscribe button if you do enjoy this video. Like it if you liked it. Share it with your friends and family. Let me know down below if you're going to get an NVMe enclosure or if you've got a Mac Mini, what storage size did you get? I'll catch you on the next one and have a great day.